Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be a quick review of the new Airfix uh, Tiger Moth, as you can see here. Now, actually, the box isn't as big as that. It's, it's as big as that. It's, um, yeah, a bit deceptive. Uh, let's go have a look. Okay, let's have a quick look inside here then. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's a nice, nice little box art on there. It's lovely, that. Looks really good. So, usual old thing here. Um, we're all bagged up, so we'll just go and debag this and we'll come back. So if we have a quick look at the instructions first, I think, as um, as we always do, time immemorial. Uh, quick look at the um, little write up here, right? Uh, usual old airfix stuff here, it's just a mumbo jumbo really. Just not looking for that, do we? So uh, obviously it's in strength the cockpit. Uh, cockpit obviously looks quite, um, as you can see here, quite sparse. There's not really a lot going on. Um, yeah. So there you go, make that as you will. Um, as you when it comes together in this picture here, it's not looking it's not looking that bad really. Although, you know, you'd expect for 148 scale these days to be a, a bit better detail than this perhaps. I don't know, it's that usual airfix thing, isn't it? Uh, straight into, so if we want the doors open then, we need to cut them out by looking at that. Uh, they must be on separate doors here, so just to nip them out if you wanted to. Again, it's probably easier to mould them in, isn't it, than actually to cut them out for you. And I suppose that's something we've got to do. Um, the looking at this, the the engine is on this old mount here. Look. Now I have seen this uh, before. Um, in, in like the in cab drawings and stuff and it just look a bit weird then is the engine bearers now whether we can use these and then cut that off uh, that, yeah I think that might be the way forward if you wanted to show the engine of course if you don't want to show the engine it won't matter uh, so you can show the engine if you wanted to look at the door open Obviously, if he wasn't going to bother, then you wouldn't need to worry about it. But coming on here, uh, we've got like a like a jig uh, to cut away this part of the back of the fuselage. To put on the the tail plane with this little um, f uh, this little oh, I, don't, I don't even know what you'd call that little effort there. I think that one there is just I think the early Tiger Moss that didn't have that little. Light surface, you could probably call that, had a tendency to um, spin in. So, moving on, it's all relatively straightforward. You can see that the looks like we've got positive slots for the the cabin struts, and we've got positive slots for the for the uh, the wing struts. So that's not too bad at all. Relatively easy. Um, uh, there's nothing here that looks like it's going to grab you by the nuts and separate uh, propeller blades, a little bit of um, clear parts going on there, and there's the doors look separate if you wanted to cut them out, so they do show them cut out, and with the, um, with the hatch open, you still need to cut the engine off. Now, now the rigging then, let's have a look at this, for experienced models. Hmm. at this rigging guide actually looks very good. I have to look at the model itself to see if there's any positioning of better isn't it. But that looks actually as a rigging guide that looks very good indeed. You've got two two pages of it. Even got the um, little bracing strut there look. So uh, it's telling you where to, uh, okay. It's giving you the, the attachment points to the cables. So it looks like if you wanted, what I would do is drill these, have a look as the, as the, as the build's going on and keep an eye on these and then drill them out. Drill them out and then obviously when you come ready, after you've painted and all the rest of it, you should have, you should, the, the holes should still be there. That's when you'd apply your CA glue and your accelerator. Um, to do you to do your rigging so that's not too bad at all actually that's not too bad that's pretty good uh, and then the schemes 
obviously is the one at um, is the one at Shuttleworth, which is absolutely a delight to look at. Um, and then the other one, standard training. I guess you'd call that a standard training kind of silver with with the yellow stripes. That's relatively new aircraft look. New aircraft. <laughs> a newer scheme look, obviously. That's obviously still um you could probably go and look at that then. If you're somewhere in Kent. Very good. Very nice too. So the obviously the decal sheet uh looks spectacular. Um it's not there enough, you know, I don't think so. Uh looks really, really good. Um Quite thin decals, uh, are they? I don't know whether they're cartograph ones at all. It doesn't, there's no uh, manufacturer's mark on them, but they look very good indeed. Very nice, you'd have no trouble with them whatsoever. They've even got the cutout for the, um, for the roundel. On here, look, so if that was, if that had your, um, if the checker went through it like it would do, you'd, you'd see that coming through the roundel no doubt because they are quite thin so very good indeed very nice too so we'll start with the fuselage now here's the engine what we said earlier uh, the engine detail isn't that bad it's just this it's just this connecting rod there oh I see uh, the bottom of the engine there is joined to the fuselage, so you could actually cut that off and use that as your placement for that. So you could do that quite, I'd say quite easily. Um, yeah, it's not too bad at all, that. Uh, inside of the fuselage, rudimentary, there is some um, framing detail there, and you've got some controls. Um, check out on what, on what uh, the aircraft you want to do and what, what color it was inside. Uh, it's the it's the basic um, airfix plastic, that light blue, light grey, soft uh, plastic. The details are there. There are details. Um, it is quite soft. Um, not too bad though. No flash on that at all. So have a look at the wings. Um, there's one prop. There's two props. Here we go. Look right. I'm gonna have a little rant now. Why would you? Well, that's one thing. That prop is deformed. It's ever so thin, which I suppose is, is is fine, but it's deformed there. Look. But why would you have your connection points just there? Why aren't they here? Why haven't they uh, remade them? You know, redesigned the mark the frame. <laughs> So it connects onto the hub rather than onto the blades. Why would you do that? Jesus. Um, apart from that, um, the details on the wing look very good indeed. Nice subtle ribbon. Um, some raised detail there. Uh, obviously, it's miles out scared, of course, but yeah, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Now that looks very nice and too. There are no, as we're looking at the connection points for the. Um, for the rig and there aren't any of course so we'll as I said before in the instructions you need to find out where they are and then drill you drill the little holes for the rigging probably drill them bigger than you'd think because obviously it's going to be filled up with primer and paint uh, apart from the props which are awful in my opinion that's not too bad Finally, we come to sprue C. There's only three sprues here. Um, what I haven't found yet is the clear sprue. I'll have to look inside the bag. Um, yes, very Spartan um, detail. Oh, pro uh, gear six hanging off. Uh, very Spartan detail inside. I imagine that the, the, the um, inside the uh, real Tiger Moth is pretty bare anyway, but that props a bit better but still joins on the wood blaze and it should be joining on the hub. If it were me, gee whiz. Um, wheels are weighted wheels. Got a girt big diablin badge on the, in the hubs. Uh, again, looks a bit over scale, but it is what it is. Um, again, 
uh, the tail. Yeah, so relatively good. Uh, the doors, nothing on the inside of the doors there. Um, again, the uh, instrument panels, very basic. Is that the compass as well? It's all pretty basic stuff. I think there's decals or decals, I should say, decals, decals for the for the dials. Um, although they are hidden away into the into the fuselage, you're probably not going to see much of it. But it's all pretty basic stuff. Very much a beginner's kit. Probably this is an ideal. What this is would be an ideal introduction into uh, into rigging biplanes. At, um, especially at its size, I'm all 48 scale, do a couple of these and you're ready for the, the bigger scales, but um, uh, pretty basic, exhaust, pretty basic, but you know, I'm, I'm sure it'll go together just well. I uh, did find the, um, the bit a little bit of glass, all it is is two, two little windscreens for the pilot and co-pilot, um, I'm not going to get it out of the bag, I imagine they're quite, um, no, oh, this is what it is really them there oh well there you go then uh relatively a basic kit uh, like i said in the in the vid there i think it's a good kit to practice um rigging if you haven't done rigging before or you're a bit scared of doing rigging it is quite stringy as a as a, as a biplanes go there is quite a lot of it on there you obviously don't put it have to put it all on especially if you're practicing no one's gonna, no one's gonna, you know, shoot you at dawn for not putting every little bit of rigging on there if, if you're just trying it out. But uh, it's a good kit to pick up uh, and try that out on, in my opinion. There's thousands of, I'd imagine there's thousands of different decal sheets and schemes that, that would apply to this, um, uh, to this, to this kit. You know, you. I mean, the schemes that come with this are, are very pretty. The, the obviously the box scheme is lovely, uh, and the silver with the with the yellow stripe, um, uh, the one in Kent is, is lovely as well, which is probably the one I'd be looking at doing. Um, speaking of which, I might well have a go at this uh, myself, just to get it out of the way, really, and give me something to do. So I'm obviously, uh, stuck at home, like you are yourself, no doubt. Uh, I hope, and with the, on that, I hope you are well. Weird, isn't it? Can't get me around it. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there because I'm gonna start to waffle because I've spoken down in ages. Um, okay, guys, uh, thanks for sticking this long. Uh, if you like what you see uh, and you're not subscribed, please think about giving me a little sub and a little like and, um, and any comments you want to um, put down below, please do. I answer all of them as long as, it, as long as they don't go into my spam box, which they sometimes do. Um, Okay guys, uh, we'll see you on British Aviation in scale and we'll see you around the internet. Bye now, take care.